Thank you for your interest in our project information meeting for the Bevel Road SR400 Maintenance and Safety Improvement Project. Ms. Catalina Chacon is the Florida Department of Transportation's project manager, and Mr. Jason Flick is the consultant project manager. The purpose of this public meeting is to share information about the proposed project with the public and to provide answers to any questions that may arise. This meeting, project, or study is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Taylor, FDOT District 5, Title VI Coordinator, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, or telephone 386-943-5367, or email jennifer.taylor at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, or telephone 850-414-4753, or email jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. For project information, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains links for easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. To access the project website, go to www.cflroads.com. On the main page, from the pull-down menu labeled Road, select SR400. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Future Projects and then select the project number for this project, which is 430-677-1. The project is located in the city of Daytona Beach. The project begins at the intersection of Bevel Road and Woodcrest Drive and continues eastward to the end of the project just west of South Ridgewood Avenue. The primary objective of this project is to provide maintenance to the existing pavement on Bevel Road. Additional improvements will be made to the corridor as part of this maintenance project, including traffic enhancements for motorists and pedestrians. These improvements are designed to increase safety for all users of Bevel Road. This project has been designed to minimize impacts to utilities and limit disruption to traffic during construction to the greatest extent possible. Due to deficiencies in the existing roadway pavement, the surface of the existing asphalt needs to be replaced. This will be done by milling the top layer of asphalt and placing new asphalt. In addition to repairing the pavement, this project will provide safety and operational improvements throughout the corridor. Some of the safety improvements which will be included within this project include evaluation of the existing sidewalk system and any repairs necessary to meet the requirements of the Americans with Disabilities Act. New sidewalks will be constructed along the west end of the project between Woodcrest Drive and South Clyde Morris Boulevard, which provide complete sidewalk connectivity within the limits of this project. New accessible pedestrian signals will also be added at two intersections. This figure graphically shows locations where sidewalks are currently missing in the project corridor and will be added to provide connectivity. The sidewalk locations are also shown on the project display board at the public meeting. The new sidewalk will begin at Woodcrest Drive and continue to South Clyde Morris Boulevard. There is existing sidewalk for the remainder of the project east of South Clyde Morris Boulevard. In addition to completing the sidewalk for the limits of the project, new pedestrian signals will be installed at two intersections. These locations are the intersection of Bevel Road with South Clyde Morris Boulevard and the intersection of Bevel Road with the signalized entrance to the Walmart Sam's Shopping Plaza. 
The new pedestrian signals which will be installed include an audible alert feature to assist vision impaired pedestrians who cross these intersections. This graphic shows the typical roadway characteristics of Bevel Road within this project. Bevel Road accommodates two lanes of travel in each direction and has dedicated bicycle lanes and sidewalks in both directions. There will be no changes to the configuration of the travel lanes or bicycle lanes with this project. This project is designed to be beneficial to all roadway users. Sidewalk ramps will be evaluated and replaced where necessary. New sidewalk is being constructed on the west end of the project. The newly repaired roadway will correct pavement deficiencies and provide an improved riding surface for vehicular traffic. During construction of this project, measures will be taken to ensure the safety of construction workers and the traveling public. To provide this measure of safety, lane closures will be necessary while pavement work is being performed. Localized pedestrian detours will be provided during sidewalk construction activities. The project is also being coordinated with VOTRAN to ensure that bus service is not disrupted. The design of this project began in November of 2013 and is currently in the development phase of design. Design will be completed mid-year in 2015 with construction beginning in the fall of 2015. Construction is anticipated to be completed in the summer of 2016. The design cost for this project is about $250,000 and the construction cost is estimated to be approximately $2.8 million. Comments on this project are welcome. Please send us your comments and questions by clicking on the Submit Comments and Questions link on this website. Your comments, questions, and concerns will be addressed and will then become a part of the project file. This concludes the presentation for the Bevel Road Maintenance and Safety Improvement Project. Thank you for your interest in our project and we thank you for taking the time to view our public information meeting presentation. Please feel free to contact us at any time regarding any questions or concerns you may have.